Hello, uh, I'm Clancy Larmore. Uh, I go to North Carolina State University and I'm majoring in biochemistry and microbiology. And uh, this summer I worked as a Borla Grown intern for the International Potato Center uh, in Lima, Peru, virtually, of course, or remotely, I should say. <laughs> um, I helped uh, organized data for the World Potato Center, um, organizing the presence of viral RNAs in potatoes. Uh, they use methods where they use enzymes and they copy them and they measure how many copies they've made and that gives a pretty accurate representation of um, how many pieces of RNA or the presence of certain viruses. Um, and they double check these methods with uh, other methods, PCR, um, ELISA, which is sort of like PCR, but a bit different. Um, and the end point of uh, trying, to, trying to use this new method of checking their, uh, checking their RNA samples is to find a cheaper and more effective way to detect uh, viral presence in potatoes and sweet potatoes. Um, for rural farmers or uh, maybe farmers with potatoes that aren't really as common, say, uh, again, rural farmers who don't have access to larger potato strands who are less uh, disease resistant, uh, they need testing and with this new method uh, you can uh, take a bunch of samples, maybe 20, 30, 40 samples and put them in one test and detect however many viruses happen to be in there. Um, and then do further testing to double check and make sure that there are definitely certain viruses or there definitely aren't certain viruses. Um, and it's not just just used for sweet potatoes or potatoes. Uh, it can be used for any number of plants and I just happen to be working on potatoes. Um, probably my favorite thing while working is, uh, while working with the World Potato Institute is uh, or International Potato Institute, I should say, is uh, sort of seeing the interconnectedness of everything. Um, they use some pretty complex methods, and at points um, I, it was a bit confusing, or I was like, hey, why, uh, what's this, or what's this? Um, but the explanations made sense, and uh, every single step, for instance, uh, we looked for RNA lengths from 21 to 24 nucleotides, because that's the most common. Um, we use uh, certain cutoff points. The cutoff points to detect viruses are based on each sample, so it changes from sample to sample. Um, a lot of small, small sort of details like that that made sense and uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely helped me understand the whole process more and made it more fun and interesting. Um, how this related to my future prospects, uh, working in a lab in data analysis and seeing different techniques, different uh, skills being used in different areas um, is definitely something I'll be looking for in future uh, research positions or internships that I take and being able to have that sort of hands-on experience with uh, experts is, you know, I, you can't, you can, uh, can't fault it. It's, it's a, really been a great experience and uh, I thank the uh, International Potato Center um, for their help, for their kindness during my internship. Uh, Segundo Fuentes, uh, Melody Amao, uh, Jan Cruz, and Ana Paula Gonzalez for all their help during my internship being there and uh, helping me through this and keeping me on track. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. Take care.